Did you know that you can have a heart attack if you don't brush your teeth regularly? Every February, we commemorate Heart Health Month to raise awareness about how to assess our risk of heart disease and what we do to lower that risk. Everything is all good until you hear a dentist discussing heart health. You may start wondering, as I often have, what relation could he have with that? Is he trying to be a jack of all trades? Actually not. In fact, there is a direct correlation between poor dental health and an increased risk of heart disease. Has that piqued your interest? If yes, then stick around to the end of the video as we discuss the correlation between oral and cardiovascular health and much more. In the meantime, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss a video. Did you know that gum disease affects overall health of all individuals over the age of 30? Yet, you don't see gum disease awareness campaigns like they are run for some of the other diseases. The reason is that most of the people affected by it are unaware themselves that they have it because it is often mild. While gum disease may not necessarily cause pain, it can nevertheless have serious consequences for dental and cardiovascular health. According to the American Journal of Medicine, those who clean their teeth more thoroughly using plaque-targeting toothpaste had lower levels of heart attack triggering inflammation. Here are some important findings correlating bad dental health with other ailments. There's an 81% increased chance of dying due to any reason. There's an 85% chance of dying from a heart attack or stroke. There's a 27% increased chance of a serious cardiovascular event. According to the study, a heart disease patient's risk for health problems increases by around 6% for each tooth loss. Now let's go over what gum disease, also known as periodontal disease, is, how it affects your heart, and how to avoid and cure it so you may live a healthy life. You might be shocked to learn that the advantages of excellent oral hygiene extend well beyond our mouths. Indeed, the state of our teeth and gums has a significant influence on our general health, medical bills, and quality of life. Dr. Caswell Evans is the Associate Dean for Prevention and Public Health Sciences at the University of Illinois at Chicago College of Dentistry. He has written extensively on the consequences that poor oral health may impose on public health. According to him, the importance of the mouth as part of our health is frequently underestimated and unappreciated. Our perception of ourselves, how we are regarded by others, and even our employment is all impacted by our mouth appearance. Next, we will address the relation of overall health with oral health. The importance of oral health can be judged by the fact that it is one of the 10 major health indicators recognized by Healthy People 2020 along with other indicators such as access to health, nutrition, cancer, HIV, and heart disease. Good oral health is also crucial for communication and interpersonal connections, as it impacts the way people perceive you during speaking, smiling, smelling, and eating. On the other hand, poor oral health can lead to a variety of unpleasant, debilitating, and expensive health problems. According to the American Dental Association's Health Policy Institute, one in every five low-income persons says their mouth and teeth are in bad condition, and one in every three of them says their mouth and teeth impact their ability to apply for a job. Stats don't lie. Most of the factors that influence our oral health, such as food and cleanliness, are under our control. Tooth decay is the most prevalent chronic pediatric illness, but it may be avoided by eating a nutritious diet and practicing proper oral hygiene. Plaque accumulation, on the other hand, without a healthy diet, eventually leads to cavities, gingivitis, or serious gum disease, which puts your teeth and gums, as well as other parts of your body, in danger. Gum disease is known medically as periodontal disease. The words peri and odontal imply around and teeth, respectively. Bacteria and plaque that sticks to your teeth create periodontal disease. If plaque is not eliminated by brushing and flossing regularly, it can penetrate the gums and cause infection. Inflammation is the body's natural response to infection, which is why gum inflation is one of the first indicators of gum disease. The infection can spread, causing painful gum recession, bleeding, and possibly tooth loss. If gum disease bacteria enter your circulation, it can create issues throughout your body. More on that later. Warning Signs of Gum Disease It's important to diagnose gum disease in the early stages, as the sooner it's treated, the easier it is to recover. Some of the symptoms of gum disease include red, swollen, or sensitive gums, loose or separate teeth, bleeding while brushing, flossing, or eating crunchy food, persistent foul breath, sores in the mouth, a change in the way the teeth fit together when taking a bite. If any of these symptoms appear, you should see your dentist immediately. If it is caught early on, it is still treatable and may be addressed by thorough cleaning by your dentist. 
Periodontitis develops when gum disease advances. At this point, your dental health begins to worsen. Tissue, bone, and even teeth may be lost because of it. Periodontitis treatment is more difficult than gingivitis treatment. That's why you should make sure that things don't escalate this far by developing healthy eating and cleaning habits. Gum Disease and Cardiovascular Health The Link Between the Two While gum disease may appear bothersome, few people are aware of the serious consequences it may have on their health. According to research, people with periodontal disease are nearly twice as likely to have heart disease. Also, every year, 800,000 Americans die from cardiovascular diseases. I'm sure this number would have been much smaller if everyone took their oral health seriously and brushed regularly. Your dentist can do much more than just look at your teeth. He can even help you maintain a healthy heart and can see indicators of body health problems before anyone else. Now let's discuss some of the ways in which oral health issues can migrate to other parts of the body. The bacteria that causes gingivitis and periodontitis also migrate to blood vessels elsewhere in the body, causing inflammation and damage, which can lead to microscopic blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. Do you think we are exaggerating? Some of the oral bacteria's remains were discovered in atherosclerotic blood arteries. Far from the mouth, they should consider renaming the oral bacteria to everywhere bacteria. Other than the bacteria, the body's immunological reaction, which is inflammation, sets off a cascade of vascular damage throughout the body, including the heart and brain. You were supposed to protect us. One of the major studies on this topic was released in 2018. Researchers examined data from almost a million patients with around 65,000 cardiovascular events, including heart attacks, and discovered that there was a modest link between tooth loss and coronary heart disease. One's age was taken into consideration. There's more. The link between poor dental health and overall health extends beyond cardiovascular disease. Periodontal disease has been associated with rheumatoid arthritis in studies. A 2018 study also discovered a relationship between these bacteria and the risk of pancreatic cancer. Our mouths can make or break us. Important factors and cures for gum disease. Before we look at the cures, you should know that prevention is better than cure. Some factors that can lead to gum disease include poor dental hygiene, smoking or chewing tobacco, genetics, crooked, difficult to clean teeth, pregnancy, diabetes, certain drugs. Some of these factors can be managed, like dental hygiene or smoking, but others are simply unavoidable, like genetics. Our safest bet is to focus on the things that we can control. Brushing and flossing the teeth is vital, but so are regular dental cleanings. Dental clinics provide the tools necessary to thoroughly clean our teeth and detect early symptoms of illness. Gum Disease Treatment The dentist will choose the best treatment option for you based on the severity of your periodontal disease. It may be as simple as professional cleaning and improving your dental hygiene practices, or it could get more complicated. You reap what you sow. If your problem has advanced to periodontitis, the most effective therapy will most likely be scaling, which cleans the spaces between your teeth and gums to eradicate the infection. Patients with severe gum disease will need to see their dentist frequently to keep the condition from worsening. Gum disease is devastating for both dental and heart health, so don't overlook it. We can now establish that poor dental health increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. We can't stress this enough. Your dental health is the portal to the rest of your body, and hence to your general health and happiness. One of the key ways in which our teeth maintain our general health is through this dental-heart relationship. Our understanding of the link between oral health and overall health, as well as how we can support it and improve our quality of life, is expanding at a faster rate than ever before. A healthy mouth and a regimen to maintain it that way, including not smoking and having regular dental treatment, and of course brushing, can help you keep your teeth longer and keep the evils like heart diseases at bay. That alone should motivate you to make oral health a top priority. That's why we brush first thing in the morning. Keep an eye out for future research into the relationship between oral and overall health. Brushing, flossing, and seeing your dentist are all things you should do till then. Love the videos of our channel, Welcome to Wellness? Please like and share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos related to your health. We will see you in our next video, and until then, happy brushing.